the lasagna ready that looks beautiful oh my god that looks so juicy this is the bad boy lasagna obviously my one of my cousins my mom just found and said we're making lasagna I got a portion for you so that is nice and juicy look at that oh my god hey everyone it's BDN vlogs today obviously I am cooking I'm back in the kitchen it's been a long time I haven't come in the kitchen on the video um, so today I'm going to be cooking a special lasagna um, my style of cooking is every time I cook I don't cook the same way again so if I cook a lasagna and I cook it five times it's going to be different five times because I always get creative and um, just you know like mix everything up that's why they call me the wrong chef but anyways today this lasagna I'm dedicating it to you guys I'm gonna name this lasagna the bad boy lasagna cuz I have not done this recipe how I'm gonna do it before so I've just come up with the idea and I thought yeah why not cook the lasagna for you guys and then I'm gonna have it for you guys so that's the bad boy lasagna for you my people the BDNers for this recipe you're going to need some onions, tomatoes, some chili, cheese, coriander, four eggs, tandoori masala, you're going to need some salt, some lahori charga, you're going to need some zira seeds and another thing, now this is national garlic ginger paste. <coughs> I have always been a fan of you I have always been a fan of using fresh garlic and fresh ginger that's what I always use but since I came across this it's only been a couple of weeks this is national ginger garlic paste since I come across this national ginger garlic paste oh my god this thing is amazing I think this is something that I recommend I'm not promoting this for anyone but I'm just saying in general this is a you can't go wrong with this yeah you're also gonna need some lasagna sauce you can use any lasagna sauce you like but today I'm using the Dalmio cheesy lasagna sauce so that's all the ingredients so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the tomatoes and the onions to the food processor I'm going to add the chilies I've got 17 chilies there another trick I always use odd numbers in cooking especially in the chilies that's some coriander now what I want to do is I want to add I want to add a two teaspoons of the ginger garlic paste maybe three because I love this that smells amazing I'm going to be adding two teaspoons salt two teaspoons tandoori masala A teaspoon and a half zira seeds and I'm gonna be adding a big teaspoon and a half of my favorite Lahori Charga I'm gonna add just a drizzle of oil 
and that's it. I'm gonna get that and process it. You want to leave it chunky, so, oops, yeah, that's bang on, that's nice. I'm going to add the oil. To the pot, hot pot with some oil. Let that heat up. And then, I want to be adding the chicken straight to the oil so obviously I am making chicken lasagna today so I've got chicken mince you're also gonna need chicken mince I forgot to tell you that earlier so that's chicken mince I'm using you can use chicken mince mutton mince whatever you like but this one obviously I'm using chicken mince. So, the chicken's gone white ish. So, you don't have to cook the chicken. Once it's you can see that it's gone whitish. You want to do is, I want to add the the mix to that. So that's the mix I did. I'm gonna mix that into the chicken. Obviously, it's all going to reduce down. Once I'm cooking this, everything is going to reduce. But I prefer to use the griddle. Um, so I think it gives it better flavor. So I'm going to let that cook. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this on a high heat for about... I'm going to give that at least 10 minutes high heat. So I'm going to see you in 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to tidy everything up. So that's now, that's dry, that's cooked. It's been about 15 minutes. You want to cook it about 20 minutes total time. Because remember, it's going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes or whatever. So even that's going to cook it. So now what I'm going to do is, so now what I'm going to do is, I've got the lasagna sheets. Now, when you boil lasagna sheets, they get too soft and it spoils the taste. And if you don't boil them, some people don't like it, but I actually like it crispy. So, I'm going to make the eggs as well, because the chicken's almost done. I'm going to cook the eggs, and then bang, we're going to the recipe. So this, as I said earlier... with the egg we don't want to like cook it right right through so what you're gonna do is it's cooked on one side turn it over so it just sticks if you know what I mean obviously I'm gonna leave the egg yolk um, quite soft so if you want to cook it through you can cook it through so I've tossed the eggs over let the other side cook yet that's the eggs done. So before I put everything together, I've got a pot. That's cold water. I'm going to put the lasagna sheets into the cold water. So now I'm going to put everything together. So I've got the first pot. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add, 
some cheese to the bottom some cheese to the bottom just to keep the bottom you know nice and juicy I'm gonna get some of that that sauce that meal sauce just add that to it I'm gonna get the sheet straight out the water the sheet straight out the water and put them in Fill the caps with the cracks. Now what I'm gonna do is to the sheets add some sauce straight onto the sheets. Now I wanna add the chicken, chicken mix. We don't want to add too much chicken, we want to like keep it have a good amount of layers so that's that added and then I want to add another three slices so that's one two three now to that, you want to add the sauce. Then you want to add some chicken. Once you've added the chicken, what I'm going to do is, I want to add two eggs, so that's one, two eggs to the chicken, just to give it that little touch, just a touch of sprinkle of cheese, not too much cheese, but I'm going to sprinkle that middle part, just a nice Now we're gonna add the last layer. So you add the lasagna sheets. So that's the lasagna sheets, add it to the last layer. Give that a little press so everything is nice and um, even. Now the last layer, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be adding the sauce. a fair amount on the last layer you want to fill all the gaps in any gaps you see you want to fill them in with the sauce there should not be no gaps that's the lasagna sauce and then you want to add a nice coating of cheese with a nice layer of cheese now to that you want to add I love to add black pepper ground black pepper to the cheese now that is done so that's the foil on and that's gonna go straight into the oven. That's one dish and second dish. So that's the lasagna into the oven for 40 minutes. So I'm gonna give it like um, about 20 minutes, 25 minutes um, with the foil on. And then the last 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna take the foil off and brown it all up. So it's been about 20 minutes. You wanna take the lasagna out now what you're going to do is you're going to take the foil off yes now that is steaming so that's going to go back in the oven for about 15 minutes on a high heat 
so until it goes all golden brown so I'll see you inside when I'm having the lasagna so I'm gonna get into that that's the big piece oh my god that is a big bite it's gonna be too big for me so that's the lasagna and I'm gonna take that in so mmm mmm oh my god oh my god that's another big bite mmm -hmm. Oh my god. Yo, this is a bad boy lasagna, you know. Really spicy. Really juicy. But this is a bad boy. Bad boy lasagna, you know. So I'm gonna get all this together. And I'm gonna take another big bite. That was another big bite. Mmm. So today's lasagna, I'm gonna name it the bad boy lasagna as I said earlier. This lasagna is dedicated to you guys. I made this recipe especially for you guys. It's amazing the two eggs that I've put in each dish just give the lasagna unbelievable flavor and the juiciness it is just amazing so if you already haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and this is to all my friends out there that know me my channel is resolved around food and my daily life so today I shared a recipe with you guys um, I really enjoyed that lasagna. I think it's probably I've got you guys watching me. I've got your company, but That lasagna was amazing. So I dedicate this lasagna the bad boy lasagna to use luck. So that's BDN vlogs. We're logging out